Okay, so I didn't think I'd be putting out a Lisa video anytime soon. I mean, I was aware that she was releasing music in the lead up to an album, but I personally also didn't want to be spoiled in advance. But Lisa has just posted official album teaser. And originally I was kind of avoiding everything that was being posted just so I could not be spoiled when the full album came out because obviously there's going to be i'm assuming a couple more singles from the album and i've heard that it's 12 tracks which is incredible if you think back to when lisa first debuted with her solo stuff there was only two songs there was low lisa and money and i've pretty much got every bit of merch from that you can think of well not everything but like all the main stuff <laughs> yeah that was a good little error for kicking off lisa's solo career now here we have a three minute long album teaser when i saw that it was three minutes long i was like okay maybe i should make a video for this i've actually got another lisa video on the back burner which will come out eventually i'm just kind of editing through other videos first we're going to start off by reacting to the alter ego official album teaser and i find this interesting because i think she was teasing the album the whole time people originally did not know what the album was going to be called but i think people have started putting the pieces together and have eventually figured out that it's going to be called alter ego and here it is now the official album teaser let's just react to it first and see if we're about to get our minds blown look at this ultra widescreen going on here is that dreamworks oh okay Ominous, ominous. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> We're only 14 seconds in and I paused it. Guys, come on, that outfit. The cinematography. I remember when she was teasing her first release, there was this whole idea of like the red lighting and the storm and stuff. And we never actually saw any of that when it came out. Like the, it wasn't part of any music video or anything. It was just like a bonus visual look into, I suppose, who she is and this sort of character that she's trying to portray as an artist because it is definitely a character. Literally the title of this is Alter Ego. This whole album is called Alter Ego. And if you're going to go in the comments and be like, oh, but this and that. If you've seen her in any sort of interview or whatever, she's got like two sides to her almost. Like, you know, she's got the really fun, bubbly, shy side. And then when she's doing things for, for brands and whatnot, or when she's performing on stage, it's a serious, fierce side. And I think that's part of what she's trying to encapsulate here. I don't know. But as you know, I talk about visuals as well. And we're looking at this really well thought out. <laughs> we're looking at this very well thought out visual here where everything sort of around her is just black and dark and there's a storm going on and she's kind of walking down this white runway in a sense it's kind of interesting because it's almost like she's on this path of enlightenment and obviously the lines are going in this sort of triangle shape so it's pointing and leading our eyes to lisa in this very contrasting outfit right it's very black to match the outside parts which are black and then also you've got her skin tones in there as well and i guess that's also a, a bit of a metaphor for alter ego so anyways i've been rambling on for like this start frame for quite a while let's just let, let's start again let's, let's watch that again because that's pretty cool i love this this is fantastic this is this is how you tease an album The footsteps? Whoa. She looks like she's on a mission or she's kind of angry. What's she doing? Whoa. The editing on this is fantastic. Marvel Studios get her in the Marvel Cinematic Universe right now. <laughs> I actually made a similar comment in her song New Woman, the music video for that. There was kind of like this Bifrost effect happening there, which is really awesome. Please get her in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If you combine Lisa being one of my favorite artists of all time with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, one of my favorite franchises of all time, you're going to make me, I'm sure a lot of other people out there really happy. Let's see that again. That was really cool editing there. The sound is right. <laughs> Perfect. Oh yeah. Yes. The guitar. Oh my goodness. The light. Yeah. 
I literally shook the whole house with that one. I need water. I need water. <laughs> Cut the cameras. There's no water in here. <sighs> There's water in this scene. If only I could just jump into my computer right now and just dive in that water. It is hot here. It is hot here in Australia. <laughs> I need to see that again. So her eyes are changing color dependent on the song. And it's almost like Infinity Stone colors. Like you're telling me this isn't inspired by Marvel. Let me put this out there. I was saying Rhea Ripley to be a female Thanos originally, but hear me out, Lisa. Lisa as female Thanos. Avengers Secret Wars, come on. See, we're, we're going through the multiverse right now. The Lisa-verse. The lightning. Love that those shots with the the ring. The fish eye. Orange. It's the soul stone. Yep. Moonlit floor. Oh, look at this. Look at these visuals. Love the production. The green eyes. I know it. I see what she did there. Time Stone. Oh, is this a new song? Bit of a dubstep beat. That is so cool. What? I'm like... Okay, so we got the reality stone here. Oh, oh, whoa! Evil Lisa, leaving a trail of flames. Wait, is this going to connect? Is this going to connect to that clip from the teaser of the first EP, the Red Lightning? Loki, can we just go back to when she like stomps on the ground? <laughs> Oh, she slapped us. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. So these... It's almost like... Oh, wait. It is the Bifrost! It's the Bifrost! I like how in that teaser, we were basically given two polar opposites, right? Started off with this sort of traveler walking down the white path, maybe seeking some kind of redemption or some kind of enlightenment in some way. And then we get to the end where it's like all red and flames and she's like slapping the camera. She's like stomping on the ground. What was this? This is, this is, uh, I'm so hyped for this album right now. Apparently you can pre-save it right now. Good thing I was told the other day because I went ahead and did it. Even though I didn't see this trailer ahead of time, I just went and did it. I thought, you know what? I'll get the vinyl, uh, the signed vinyl. And there was like different photo book versions. And I was trying to think, okay, well, I can't afford all of them. I'd love to get all of them. But if I was to pick one, which one would I pick? I ended up going with the Kiki version because it's close to my brand colors, you know, the teal and the pink. So I was like, you know what? Let's go for that one. And so, yeah, I'm super pumped for this. This is a real teaser, an amazing teaser teaser at that like this is how you get people hyped up for music i'm genuinely so excited let's just take a look at that last bit again because i want to see something real quick. i want to test something out here if i press nine no eight eight okay there's a bit of a skip so let, let's start it again from here where'd my headphones go i threw them again and again yes let's go lisa pop off Okay, enough of that. I had I had my fun. <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> it was a bit of a bit of a fun random one. But yeah, look, I'm super excited for the Lisa album, Alter Ego. I hope you guys are too. 
I mean, you guys know on this channel, I've been reacting to songs by international artists, you know, whether it be K-pop or metal bands from Japan. And, you know, I love, I love it all. I love it all. That's not to say I'm a fan of every single type of music. Like I'm not really a country person. Uh, I'm not really a generic pop person. I do like a bit of pop, but I'm not a generic pop person. Um, but, you know, you guys know I love my alternative rock. Alternative rock is my favorite genre of all time. I recently reacted to The Warning and found out that they're close friends with Muse and Royal Blood, which is like the two bands I loved growing up. Uh, Muse especially, like Muse were a huge inspiration. It's, it's crazy to see how far this channel has come. And it's all thanks to you guys. I really appreciate each and every one of you here. But yeah, I've got more videos to film now and edit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We're definitely going to be reacting to more of Lisa's stuff when it comes out. But until then, take care of yourselves. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as always. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.